This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, sliceonbroadway.com. And listeners like you, support this show at patreon.com slash awesomecast. Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at sidekickmediaservices.com. Hey guys, it's time to get techy, get geeky. It is the awesome cast. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter here in the Sorgatron Media Studios in the Beachview neighborhood of Pittsburgh, PA. So many eight years later, and uh, here we are right in front of everybody, moved on from the basement, or apparently in in multiple uh, secret layers uh, uh, by the looks of the <laughs> original show. We've been watching this beforehand. Uh, there's, If you're on video, there's Uncle Crappy. You can look up Awesome Cast 1 full-on Facebook is the title on YouTube, and you can check out that first episode. There's me. I'm just just haphazardly uh, hanging <laughs> hanging green screen behind me just so you don't see my laundry. Uh, let's see. Uh, we, we have some spots uh, for whatever reason. Uh, Rob uh, was he was on Skype, but I'm pointing an iPhone at him, and I'm pretty sure I edited this in afterwards. And I'm, I get a hand in front of my camera and my iPhone at the time. That's what the iPhone looked like uh, video eight years ago. I don't even know which version we were three, on back then. Three was G, it probably three a, no? Three GS didn't have video, did it? I don't think it did. I think it was the uh, four that had video. Uh, maybe you, oh, first. front facing or rear facing? Oh, it's definitely rear facing. So well, now on three GS, I think GS it could be. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but uh, it, it was kind of fun for us to look back. We were watching it here in the studio. But here are the voices there. Of course, John Chichilla is joining us. He's the gadget guru of Big Bank International Esquire. How's it going? I think so, Rob has permanently gone into witness protection program. Yeah, he's, he has. From He has. <laughs> from dabbling with it on the first episode to, to full-time. Who health. is that guy that started the show and actually had the name and the domain and, 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 and we did that? Uh uh, he's of course on the West Coast with Ion Tank still. A Pertz, uh, I think a Pittsburgh original company that that, that expanded, uh, grew grew too big, and now they're they're out in Portland, which is weird because I was just there a couple weeks ago, and then he was back here in Pittsburgh. Hey. <laughs> I was in Portland, so we didn't even get to connect then. So. That's just what he told you. That's just, uh, it's part of the witness protection thing. That, yeah, exactly. You, you can't be in the same place at the same time. <laughs> no, no. Apparently, we, we got into too much. It's because we had no weight on before they had their multi-million dollar uh, round of funding <laughs> from Alpha Lab. Uh, but uh, uh, Uncle Crappy, Mike Pound is with us uh, from the Pittsburgh Post-Gazette. Of course, you may know him from the Beer Me Show. Yes. Yes. And, and, and he brought beer. He brought beer with because, him. Uh, you know, yeah. I want beer and and, and I need to share it. You got it, it. It goes with the gimmick. Mm-hmm. So, what are it your does. thoughts on sour beer? Uh, I just I just uh, finished one. I finished a sour monkey from from Victory Brewing. Um, I'm a fan. In fact, the show that will publish later this week is about Strange Roots Brewing, uh, born in Millvale. Now their their primary uh, place is up in uh, Gibsonian West West Deer Township. Um, and that's what they do. They do a wild ferment- fermentation, spontaneous fermentation, Belgian styles, and it's really heavy on uh, some of the sour beers are seriously sour. They're working on a portfolio that's um, they're a little softer and a little more approachable. Okay. Um, but that's it, it, that's a great place to go if you want to, to kind of experiment with that stuff a little bit. They're, they're by no means are the only uh, are the the only brewery in town that that does that sort of thing. Where's, um, and where was that at? Um, you can still their, their tap room in Millvale. Okay, uh, it's just after you get off of twenty eight, you're, you're you're pretty much dumped out right in front of it. All right, cool. Um, so that's a that's a good place to start if you're curious. Cool, thanks. Mm-hmm. There you go. That shows you how local we get here on the show. If you're new, yes. for our eight our four hundredth episode, eight years. Katie Dudas is with us. She's the director of sales and marketing with the Scare House. Yeah. That was right. I got it right. <laughs> it took to episode 400. <laughs> <laughs> and with us, a whole crew, a whole a whole cast of, of characters back there. Doug Durda hanging out from Should I Drink That? Amanda from Bold Pittsburgh. Uh, and uh, and Steve from from, from uh, Bold Sports. Is, hey, hey, poke, poke your head in there. There he is. There he is. <laughs> 
<laughs> so we got a crew and of course producer Missy hanging out in the back as well where it's safe apparently uh, so thank you everybody for joining us again this is the awesome cast where we talk about technology from a Pittsburgh state of mind you can check us out at awesomecast.com or because Brian Crawford at the River's Edge uh, thinks that it sounds cooler awesomecast.net we do still have that uh, you can email us at awesomecast at sorgatronmedia.com awesomecast on the Twitter a great awesome cast page and Facebook group on Facebook uh, and you can subscribe to us to Apple Apple Podcasts Alex Stitcher Spreaker iHeartRadio Google Music and of course um, the video versions on the YouTube and Facebook page we post those afterwards and you can join us live every Tuesday at 7pm Eastern on the Facebook page for Awesome Cast thank you to our friends at River's Edge PGH uh, they uh, have us over there at riversidepgh.com every Saturday at 9 a.m. And once a month, uh, we uh, try to go in there and do an awesome thing of the month. And also thank you to our other streaming partner, the 405media.com out there on the West Coast. Uh, weekdays at 9 a.m. Pacific time, noon Eastern, if you want to check out the latest episode of the week. Uh, they refresh that every week in the rotation. So thank you so much to our supporters there. Uh, hey, if you want to be a part of our studio audience like this wonderful crew back here. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Uh, you can let us know. We'll put a chair out for you at awesomecast at sorgatronmedia.com. And of course, thank you to our Patreon supporters at the uh, fan of the show dollar level. Thank you, Michael Fedor, Mike Fedor Show on the Twitter. And at the Coffee Club $5 level, Matt Weller and John DeGore, uh, Diggy out there. Uh, you guys can support the show too and literally help us keep the lights on here in the studio at patreon.com slash awesomecast. And if you guys want to advertise with us, uh, we have, I, our friends at Slice on Broadway are super happy with us. We'll, you'll be hearing about them later in the show. You can hit up uh, the responsible one, Missy, producer Missy at awesomecast.sorgatronmedia.com. And as we've been doing for most of the eight years, let's get started with our awesome thing of the week. And um, I'd like to start, where'd my gadget go? It's so small, I lost it. <laughs> Do you have it over there? Oh, Sheila, <laughs> Sheila, hold that thing up over there. We can pass it over or something. I don't want to toss it. I don't know. Don't toss it. <laughs> Definitely don't toss it. Um, but I, I picked up something that it was it was actually mentioned on uh, This Week in Google last week, and it was too, it was too good to pass up. I've been looking for a replacement um, security camera here in the studio and uh, uh, since my divorce with Comcast. And, and they talked about this. This is the Wise Camera, W-Y-Z-E Cam. You can look for just Google Wise Cam or uh, find it on Amazon. This little thing is, oh, oh I dropped it. <laughs> and now it doesn't, we'll find out how, what, how durable it is for $25. Uh, but it's a little, if you guys are on audio, I don't know, how big is that? It's like, like maybe like, two by two? Two by two, two, by two inches. Yeah. Uh, it's a, it's a box. I often said it looks, it, it reminds me of a companion cube maybe. Uh, so, uh, and, and it's, it just, it plugs in, a USB's in for power. You got to throw an SD card in this thing, um, for some of the features to work, but it actually gives you, um, unlimited, well, not unlimited, uh, for free, you get two weeks, 14 days of cloud storage with this. Uh, and it works great. You can, you can, it, it, it takes up audio. You can do a time lapse with it. Uh, it's, uh, you know, you'll get notifications. You can set, um, I need to, we're here so late, so I need to figure out what's the best time for me to set for that away message kind of situation. Um, but, uh, and I'll pull up the app here to show you. Uh, but you get a notification. It's got night vision, which I think is even better than the expensive camera we were using with Comcast before. Uh, and if you guys are on video, here's a look at the app right here. Um, there's there's kind of the, the view. And if you go in here, it's not going to, it's probably going to pull up an error now because of, I, I disconnected it to show you guys. But if you go back, you can actually scrub through Oh, we'll see how this works without, I haven't tried this without uh, it being plugged in actually. <laughs> so, well, actually, if you go to notifications and you pull up. Now, it, it, it's been hitting me with uh, motion alerts with like cars going by and, and uh, you know, lights, you know, kind of shining on the, on the walls and things like that. I had to turn off a screensaver because it was triggering the motion alerts. Uh, but generally, like you, you get this, you get sound alerts. It will actually notify you if it detects a fire alarm or a CO detector alarm as well. And I believe um, from the, what they were saying, I think you can set up that if you do hear a fire alarm, it could potentially actually go ahead and alert the authorities. Um, so pretty cool. Again, only 25 bucks. And I know we were talking in Slack. Um, we were kind of curious, like how they're going to keep going at this rate. 
Um, they have a higher end version that's a pan that's about uh, ten dollars more expensive. That, that's what I was impressed with was the for only ten dollars more you can get one that, that that pans around the room and I can't remember it was something pretty quick too it can like pan 180 degrees in like two seconds or three seconds or something mm. like that so i was i was pretty impressed i'm, I'm in the quality looks good from what you're showing mm-hmm. you know i don't understand yeah. why i would pay for the higher end camera <laughs> yeah at this point i'm glad i didn't didn't spring for like a nest or uh the lighthouse i know was one i was looking at for a little bit mm-hmm. um but at that rate like i can buy a couple make sure i cover all the corners of the studio um, great for the house, you know. I want to throw one out the front window because you know people are parking weird in front of my house or something or littering. Uh, you know, it, it, you could just kind of get a bunch of them and and just populate with it. So uh, it's wise cam. I, I definitely highly highly recommend it. So far, as a few days I've been working with it, um, it seems very very capable. So and you can spy on your cats. And you can spy on your cats, and you can talk to them apparently too. Oh God, because there be... is a, there is a microphone button. I haven't played with this with people that are actually here for me to mess with, but uh, yeah, you can you can actually like yell at the intruders <laughs> or your cats or, or something. You could you could expand pit mesh pit mesh everywhere. Put those everywhere and start your own neighborhood watch program. Yeah. yeah. I was yeah. thinking, like, you know, we, we've been talking about, like, that street cam. I can put one right in the window, right in the corner over here, you know. Uh, you can, we can do a lot of fun stuff with this, I think. So, all right. Uh, Katie, what is your awesome thing of the week? It's not even techie. It's I'm not excited. even techie. It's not what even do you techie. got over there? I got things. I got stuff. Um, so, this is my new luminary. I don't know if it's going to be able to see how awesome it is uh, but look at it, it's my little zombie friend um, one of my friends um, like has legendary nice. luminaries and uh, they do all these wonderful it's like the mason jar and there's a little the little fairy lights inside but it's gorgeous I, you probably can't see all the colors but it's purple and there's greens and there's blues in it uh, but my little zombie family on there that's awesome. And uh, they also do like Harry Potter and I saw Star Wars and all kinds of other geeky kind of fun um, different Things on there, and, and we was, got the Facebook page up here too, yeah, so you guys can check them see. out. There's cats. I, I like cats too, <laughs> but yeah, they're re- pretty reasonable. I think they're around. I think I think the website says twenty to fifty dollars, depending on how um, <laughs> intense it is, because some of these have little teeny words on them and writing, and that gets to be a little bit more expensive. But they're really cool, and it lights up really whenever it's dark. It lights up really nicely. Awesome. But I'm super excited about it because it's really pretty. They have Sesame Street. Yeah. Yeah, it's ridiculous. When I started looking on the website, how many different, a lot of Bigfoot, um, Christmas ones, Nightmare Before Christmas. There's Pittsburgh, a couple of cityscapes. So <coughs> it's really neat. So check them out. Legendary Luminaries. Yeah, just look that up on uh, Facebook. You should be able to find that pretty easily up there. So awesome. Uh, crappy, what is your awesome thing of the week? <laughs> uh, there are a couple things. Um, the, the World Cup tournament, <laughs> soccer tournament starts, uh, first match is Thursday, I believe. Um and this is, uh, like many people, I will be stuck in at work uh, while these matches are going on. The, uh, Russia is, I think, seven hours ahead uh, mm-hmm. of where we are. So there's a the time difference there. If they're playing evening games, it's going to be the middle of the afternoon. So. Mm-hmm. And I've come across a couple things, um, particularly Google, which typically does a, a pretty decent job of displaying it's just general uh, running sports sto- scores, stats, the stuff that you can kind of check on really quickly um, if you're stuck in the office and, and want things to go. Um, they have a whole package of things that, that will be they will be rolling out once the matches start. Um, and I, I, I gave you a link to a, a blog post uh, where they kind of discuss the stuff that they're going to do. Really, really cool um, approaches. Um, constantly, I mean, live updates, uh, kind of streams. So if you don't want to actually watch, you can kind of follow along uh, with with social streams, with commentary, uh, updated stats. They also have links to every single match live. So if you want to look, uh, if you want to check in on something while you're, uh, you know, trying to get your work done, you can do that as well. Um, and it's it's going to be a. I mean, obviously, this is not the only way to to follow what's going on with the matches because this is kind of a big deal. But I, it's it's going to be a nice kind of uh, for me, sort of a one stop shop. I can have this page open, see what's going on in other places, and if there's something I want to check on, boom, a couple of clicks away, and uh, I can I can check in on the match live. Wait, have you picked a favorite team to root for yet? Because I know that was a big topic of discussion. I, I asked that on 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 Facebook and on Twitter today. Um, Iceland seems to be the popular pick. Because they're, this is the first year that they've been in the World Cup, and I think they're the smallest country ever. Oh wow! <laughs> to, to make the to make the tournament, so that's that's a thing. I was 
Um, I was I was curious about the fact that I did not see a lot of support for North American uh, North American teams because it's sort of like the United States is not in it, so you know you're still going to root for the like the home conference. So um, I'm leaning towards Mexico at this point. I have a couple I have a couple of days to make up my mind for mm-hmm. sure, but I think that's. <laughs> The other awesome thing is that I didn't, and this is just a tidbit, it's kind of cool, um, the soccer ball, the official ball for the tournament uh, is going to be called the Telstar 2018. That is a play on um, uh, the, uh, the, the first Telstar soccer ball was created for the 1970, I think it was, um, uh, World Cup. And that was the very first soccer ball that has the, the white and black kind of checkered pattern. Um, and they did that specifically so they, it's modern, uh, it was modeled after the actual Telstar uh, satellite. You see the image up there. Um, the Death Star. Yeah, yeah. And so they, they did that so it would display well on black and white televisions as people mm. were watching this around the world. So a little trivia for, for your World Cup pleasure. Awesome. So good. And, and yeah, I've been hearing a lot of discussion about the World Cup. Uh, there was a comment. Alex, uh, Alex out there in Long Beach uh, says, I, I hope that they do that for SummerSlam with the Google. Uh, for that, updates that, why not that, that'd, why be, not? that'd be good i don't know if it's yeah. as big as the world cup but mm-hmm. you know it could be uh to some people that's going to be every bit as important there you go um so i don't amanda you had a thing in the rundown if you want to present that as an awesome thing here after the break here I, I'm, I'm giving you time to prepare to, to, to prepare yourself if you'd like to sneak uh, uh sneak up here i know you have the chair without wheels i'm sorry about that she can't sneak. You can just, just bring her in via hangout on her phone. There you go. Yeah, yeah. just hang out in and we'll, we'll be okay. But anyways, we're, in the we're meantime... We're better with these days. In the meantime, uh, our friends have been supporting us for uh, many of those uh, eight years. No, not audible.com. They never really supported us in the long run, <laughs> it turns out, from that first episode. Um, but uh, our good friends at Slice on Broadway, right up here, the Beach View Original on Broadway Avenue, the same place, uh, the same street that we are at, uh, less than a mile up there. And of course, they've expanded so much in less than the eight years uh, since. Uh, uh, we've got to know them here uh, on the awesome cast. Of course, they're over on the east end is the newest location, PNC Park, home of the Pittsburgh Pirates, as well as over on uh, Main Street in Carnegie, PA. Thank you so much to them that supported Pittsburgh Podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza for so long. I'll let them know the awesome cast sent you and hit them up at PGH underscore slice on the Twitter. All righty. Uh, are you, are you, are you up? <laughs> We gave her a wheel. We gave her wheels. <laughs> She's mobile. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, you did. I was looking at. I was really excited about this uh, item that you put up on uh, uh, our Facebook group a little bit ago. Uh, that that you know, you know, actually looks like it lets you get outside a little bit. Um. So I assumed. I assumed that it tied into the soccer bit, Mm -hmm. but this is a new um, toy and it is called the impossible ball. Mm -hmm. So I, I got to kind of touch one this week, like feel it, like play with it a little bit. I didn't get to download the app yet to really see how it works and it functions. I will within the next week be able to um, kind of play with it and see how it reacts to um, the different games. The cool thing about it is, is yes, it gets you outside. It interacts with the app, and then with every app update, it will bring new games. Mm-hmm. So it is a smart. Um, it looks like a soccer ball. It is about yay big, maybe about the size of like a cantaloupe. <laughs> um, so it's not very big, like huge, like a soccer ball, but it's very handheld. Some of the games include like volleyball, where you can just throw it up in between two people, and it will count how many times. Um, something to see how far you can roll it, like bowling. Um, there's a ton of different games. And then, like I said, it syncs to your phone or iPad so that you can um, continue to try to beat your best score. Um, and I just thought it was kind of fun, uh, a little bit something interesting for a younger crowd, um, little kids mostly. But I think like the video showed like every age p- playing with it. What's what's the pen thing do? So the pen, I imagine it's some type of connector that it kind of resets the info or else like gives like it knowledge that it's syncing to your phone. I think it's a Bluetooth connector of almost okay. some sorts. 
like I said, I haven't been able to open up the package yet and really like see what it's like. Um, uh, within the next week, I'll probably be able to break it open and kind of test it out and see what it's like. Um, do, so, do they have these at the store? They will be debuting, yes. Um, but <laughs> when yes. will those be available? <laughs> Sometime this week. <laughs> okay. And according to say, it comes in green and purple, guys, and uh, they retail for ninety nine ninety nine. So for a smart ball, I think that makes sense. For you. I mean, you gotta, it's got to be have something that has those brains and be durable enough to do all this. There's already a soccer ball um, that they have out that they uh, that is a smart soccer ball that mm-hmm. you can actually like. It's made by Zep, uh, the company Zep, and it can like show how fast you kick it, um, how far it goes, velocity, g force, things like that. Um, but I think this is a little bit more. For a younger crowd, because you can play volleyball, you can play like keep away, you can play dodgeball with it. There's a ton of games already in it, and they said more to come with every app update. That's awesome. So, that's all. How does it does it recharge? Um, no, and that's what I believe that stick is also part of. Is okay. that it? That it's the does charger. plug in. Is the stick actually does plug in? Okay. So I think that there's kind of like a difference there. Like I said, I haven't been able to break it open and test it out yet. But it's going to be playing ball in, in, the, in the middle of the ball now, <laughs> testing this thing out. So. I think at some point there will probably be a volleyball game going in the middle of the Apple Store. <laughs> um, well, I'm they sure have so much space in the... managers will be like, there's breakables in here. Please there's so stop. much space in the South Hill Store now. Why not, right? <laughs> the, kids, so. the kids in the ad are playing with it inside. I think yeah, they can, too. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. You see that kid make take the dive on the beanbag chair? It's very scary like it, it it's very soft it's not like a hard it's not like a soccer ball so i don't think mm-hmm. it can really injure anything no 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 so all right brian crawford from the river's edge again they were in here uh featured us oh, wheeling away wheeling away did, uh, did you forget oh. how the show works what because <laughs> I, I i don't think a mr chilla gave an awesome thing i didn't oh no, no all right well and we're he's super excited, excited I, about I it skipped. oh no <laughs> I thought I was going to be next. John Chichilla. And then he starts going into Brian Crawford. I was like, no, like, Chill is more important. No, not that he's more important than Brian Crawford. <laughs> Mine will actually be oh, maybe quick, maybe not. Okay. Like, okay. Got, Go ahead. It doesn't matter. Got, Go I, ahead. I you, got got three, you have the floor. <laughs> three uh, words. Chilla of the, of the, of the Chilla town. Three words. Nintendo, Switch, Fortnite. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, but they, no, this is a big deal. So E three E threes this week. Nintendo yeah. Nintendo announced. I was really bummed they didn't announce anything about Metroid, um, but they did announce the, the Fortnite coming to the Nintendo Switch. And when they announced it, it was like, oh, and go download it because it's available. Um, so as of one p.m. today, that, that's now available. Mm-hmm. What impressed me about this as a as a person that you hooked on Fortnite. Sorry. Um, that's Sorry. okay. It amazes me the high-end PC equipment you need to run this game, mm-hmm. but the low-end phone, tablet, <laughs> any as long as you're not don't want to run it on a computer, you're yeah. going to go. Yeah, basically. Um, but I think it really shows the power of their dev team to get this onto pretty much every system. Again, this ran well on a 6S for yeah, me. Exactly. Yeah. <coughs> um. They launched today. They didn't launch with the voice chat mm-hmm. on Switch, but they're bringing voice chat without the crazy iPhone app, Android app, to get your voice working. Um, so I, I just think it really shows the power of what Epic can do and as, as well as the, the Switch can do. So And putting more pressure, as people noticed today. We were talking about this controversy along with this today because people that started on Sony, PlayStation... And PlayStation won't do crossplay with things like Xbox. Um, apparently, if you started on uh, with a you have a Sony account, but it's an Epic account, mm-hmm. you can't bring your stuff over to the Nintendo Switch. You're locked in. You're locked into the to the PlayStation, which is pissing off a lot of people right now and directing the, that fire straight at Sony. So uh, hopefully, it's enough to make those guys change. I'm surprised Epic doesn't come out with some kind of exporter. Something, right? Something to I get. I mean, this has to be resolved. Yeah. Maybe, maybe maybe it's a one-time export. You can use this once so you can leave your Sony PlayStation behind and 
come to a different a bunch of different platforms that support crossplay. I, guess, I don't know. Is the, is the PSP still strong right now? I, I, I can't remember if they're the, even well, selling it's not it. The PSP it, they made the Vita. The Vita, right? Which is like digital only. Yeah, which is digital only. I don't think the PSP. I don't even think they make games. They don't even do that anymore. Hmm. Hmm. The Vita, they did. Yeah, to your point, digital download, and you could play their streaming service. Hmm. But um, we'll see. I mean, I feel like Nintendo had a really strong announcement, whereas like Xbox was like. Yeah, we'll have another system out in 2020, and we're come, We're trying to get some exclusives. A lot of those games looked really good, though. I was. I, I did watch most of the, the Xbox One, and I was really happy with that as a guy that has an Xbox. Mm-hmm. So, um, and Nintendo makes me want a Switch. So, you know, um, I'm okay. I mean, and you know, actually, everybody looks good. I, I mean, the mm-hmm. Sony first party ones are, are amazing looking. It's, Spider-Man looked great. Oh, it, I didn't even get to see that. The one with uh, the guy from one from the latest one from Kojima uh, looks weird and awesome <laughs> so um it's a good time good time to be gaming that's for sure so brian crawford his awesome thing while not free is very cheap um he was excited because he joined uh the world of vr this week you ready for this he mm-hmm. found a google cardboard for four dollars and fifty cents on on clearance somewhere um and it's just a it's just a straight up i mean it's the it's a cardboard black cardboard cardboard setup um, and comes on a little sleeve, and I, I guess you probably had to fold it all together yourself. Uh, so uh, it's just a virtual reality viewer for your smartphone. So, <laughs> so welcome to that, and you can watch uh, you can watch all those at least those videos. I wonder. Th- so here's the question with this: is does it have the the button right? Because Google Cardboard, like that five dollar one I picked up from from Walmart, doesn't have the button, so it's really only for watching video because there's some things that you can interact with with Google Cardboard in kind of a VR way. Yeah, like I'm guessing this things. doesn't have a button. I'm guessing not for the that. The cardboard one I have, it's, which is not Google, but it's, I, I don't remember where I got it, but it, no button. No, no button. button. You're just watching. Yeah. yeah. Because there's like a washer usually, but the thing is, I think there's a bit of a, a an NFC trip, tip, chip or something in the cardboard, and that's what like talks to the phone mm. and lets it know that there's a signal that happens. So and and just the super super cheap ones like you have the you know you got to go fifteen twenty dollars for the the fancy <laughs> ones with a button the up, upscale cardboard yeah the upscale yeah. <laughs> hey those guys those things got pretty high end actually uh, they did so um, let's see Fortnite and new Pokemon games two reasons for me to finally get into Switch says Alex Cars in the chat room <laughs> yeah it's getting it's getting really really a lot more attractive although I was really enjoying the Sonic uh, uh, Go Kart game that they just released on. Uh, Xbox 360 uh, games for gold today. Um, all right, what else do we got here? Uh, this was interesting. Carmen uh, shared this one. Microsoft sinks a data center off the Scottish coast. So this is this was on purpose, by the way, guys. Um, they're trying to put the data centers in the water to help cooling. Because I'm sure this won't affect the temperature of our oceans. Uh, as we put high-end equipment just seeping heat uh, into into uh, the environment. It's a but really long extension cord. It is a really long extension <laughs> cord. <laughs> Jeez. Um, but, I mean, it, it, it's a test. I think it's it's active. Um, they, uh, I, I love, just to remind you, this isn't just like a high-end data center. They said about how many movies and things that you could put... Uh, 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 put on what they have. It includes 12 racks with uh, 864 servers and 27.6 petabytes of storage. Enough storage for around 5 million movies, says uh, MSN on this. As uh, of The Verge, I guess, officially this is from, too. So, uh, yeah. Uh, th- we've heard about this. Well, at least, well, there was the barges for a while, too, with Google, right? Well, we didn't mm. know what they were doing in San Francisco. Did we ever find out what they were doing in San Francisco? I thought that was going to be an offshore... 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 Offshore server Google farm. Glass store was one one thing, but yeah, an offshore store, server farm. Um, it, who knows? Uh, but kind of kind of an interesting way to get around that heat problem that a lot of these server farms have been having. So, all right. Um, let me see if there's anything else we want to poke at here as well. There's a lot of stuff happening here in the city. Oh, this was one. Um, for, speaking of Fortnite, there was an article. Unfortunately, I can't read a lot of it because I don't uh, advertise. I don't uh, subscribe to Adweek. Sorry. Is this the nine-year-old um, girl? No, no, no. What? Oh. Is it? 
the nine-year-old girl that had to like go into like rehab for her Fortnite addiction. Oh no! I I've, I saw it there's, on a bunch of news. There's always today, and there's I'm like, always really? that story. Really? There's, there's just always that story. Come on. Uh, no, no, no. This one was about Fortnite's explosion in popularity is opening new doors for marketers. Uh, you remember a few weeks ago, uh, at least that's the image that's kind of given here. Uh, remember Thanos from Avengers Infinity War was bring him back. Was yeah, bring him <laughs> back seriously. Like how much do we have bring to pay him. to bring him back, right? Um, but that was you know something that was a part of that, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and it's kind of interesting. I know John Wick is a, is a skin in there. I don't know if that is a licensed bit or just kind of hey that guy kind of looks like Keanu Reeves enough to not sue us. Um, you know, yeah, that seems to be their thing going forward. Is they're going to do a bunch of a, a bunch of the skins, but I and I think they're going to try to get them looking really close to something yeah, that's familiar, but yeah. not enough. To Passing this one by the lawyers. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, um, but it, it's interesting to see how that goes, and, and something as big as that. And I mean, I go back to you know, I still play Crazy Taxi, and I get sad that the uh, Pizza Hut and Burger King aren't included in the newer editions <laughs> that you get on your phone and the Xbox, right? Like back on you know Saturn or Dreamcast or whatever those are on or in the arcade, right? So, all right. Uh, hey, I want to give a shout out to our friend that uh, they had a really cool. Uh, doing some stuff for a good cause, but they were back talking with, about them this month. Hey, and he's in the chat room too. Hey, and he was on the show last week actually too. Our friend Alexander Cars, AlexCars.media is his site. Uh, he does a lot of great things in uh, print media projects, merchandise, and more. He's done some t-shirts and some DVD and some web projects for us here ar- around the studio and in conjunction with Psychic Media Services and uh, some of our podcasts. Uh, great stuff. And uh, he, obviously you can work with him all across the country, as we've been working with him from uh, over in California, we've been outsourcing to him uh, a little bit of work here and there. And he does great stuff. Uh, he can uh, help you with your project, too, uh, all around media services. Alex Cars, that's K-A-H-R-S dot media, and uh, find out uh, how he can help you out today. So thanks, Alex Cars, for supporting the awesome cast. I love hearing the words print media associated with someone other than me on the that's, <laughs> that's really nice. Yeah, like yeah. Um, you know, ease your, ease your, fr- your friend in print media <laughs> a little bit. So, all right. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Um, so, Katie, I, well, you weren't on last week to talk about WWDC, were you? No. I and, and, all and, you're, and this is the feature that I knew first off that you were going to be into. I love it. The uh, iPhone tracking for the tongue and emojis and memojis. <laughs> so you can actually have an emoji, an emoji that looks just like you. Mm-hmm. And I'm super excited about the <laughs> and the tongue tracking because that's all my um, emojis are going to be doing. It's going to be a lot of sticking your tongue out at us. So, like, ah. Ah. <laughs> so just like real life, just an animated version. Well, this it. is, um, you know, uh, you and I and, and Missy have bit emojis. And, and mm-hmm. are always sending uh, interesting images to each other from, from that kind of setup. Or, you know, I was playing with the, the 3D animated one that Snapchat had. Like, it brought me back yeah. to Snapchat for a minute. Um, so this is kind of an upgrade to that for the most part, right? Yeah. Because so. I want something that looks like me then makes my faces. Rather than just a, a cat or a, an alien or something like that. <laughs> so. Chicken or a unicorn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so. so if you check your uh, text oh. messages. Why are you, are you switched off? Yeah, sorry. I, was, I was worried I was going to make noise while I was. Um, <laughs> you should have my Memoji. Oh, no. Chilla is already oh, in the future. Because no. I have all the betas. Yeah, there he is. He's sticking his tongue at us and everything. Chilla is messaging, <laughs> messaging us from the future. Which I have to say, it was super easy to set up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 It just that's, came over on the Facebook feed. That's <laughs> nice. <laughs> that's kind of cool. So yeah. and you can actually. So the other thing I was pretty impressed with is you can make more than one. Really? Oh, yeah. You okay. can make more than one, and you can actually alter. You can copy. I, I haven't tried to make more than two, but mm-hmm. I, I know I can make more. I don't know what the max is, but you can actually copy. After you build one, you can copy it. So then you can change like hairstyles or just take the glasses, glasses off, on, or glasses off, and put have sunglasses. Them all pre-built. Yeah, that's that's good. I mean, and, and again, it goes to like how much. I'm sure this is just like an anime gift, probably when it gets over. Or I don't know. What do you think it is? 
Ah, uh, no, because it, has, it or video, typically has audio, so it's, it's probably a video file. Video. So, mm -hmm. but that it can that it can generate something like that is is what, pretty what impressive. I'm interested in is if anyone has the beta loaded and wants to play around. I'm interested in because FaceTime, I you can use this live on FaceTime. <gasps> really? Well, mm -hmm. yeah. So you can totally replace your face with your emoji. With tongue detection. So do I? Yes. Sorry, I'm not trying to steal your. It's, so no, I, I'm excited to hear about it. So do I have to call you? Like, can can this happen if you're like calling my order FaceTime or something? I would like think that? so. Right. I don't know. I, because if it's generating on your side and it comes through, maybe there's so many things we need to tech, test on Monday the tw Monday the 25th is going to be like, hey, let's get a bunch of people together and test stuff. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so looking forward, definitely looking forward to that. Uh, maybe I'll throw it on my iPad or something really tempted to try that. Um, not that I can do my Memojis because I'm not the one with the iPhone X. I definitely, definitely did not pick that one. Um, but uh, looking forward to that. Anything else? Uh, since we didn't have you on last week, was there anything else that kind of stuck out for you uh, out of features that you're looking for? Or is it all no, just... No, that's all just... <laughs> it's all just that you can stick your tongue out <laughs> of people. That's the most exciting thing for me. <laughs> yeah, now I'm looking forward to the new update. I haven't updated in a while because I've been... I don't know. I kind of wait in between things. I'm not chilla. Sorry. I'm guessing public beta will go live like tomorrow. Ooh. Oh. So you could get, you could jump on the <laughs> Ooh. You'll know tomorrow if everybody gets a bunch of me. Just like, <laughs> meh. <laughs> meh. <laughs> Go, going out there, yeah, go, going out on a limb for that beta just so you can stick your tongue out at people. Yep. It's worth like, it. It is absolutely I'm not going to do anything it. dangerous. I just want to stick my tongue out. So, uh, Oh, I threw my phone down, a, a, what, five or six concrete steps today? <laughs> Earlier today? On purpose? No. I just can't hold on to things. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. yeah, I was very excited. It, it's I, a happy phone still. I've had two instances in the last week where it was, I might as well have just thrown my my. my phone at the ground yeah mm -hmm. like I, I did one at the wrestling show and just like the, the the girl just like stopped in front of me i'm just like it's cool yeah yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> so if it's not cool i'm gonna pretend it's cool because i just know <laughs> yeah be, it's yeah fine. it's cool otherwise you just start crying yeah uh, <laughs> um let's see what else we got here um did you see I think I put, I might have tagged you in this, Katie. The uh, spinning kitty box of death, litter box of death. <laughs> um, this was at, uh, I love was this. it Computex? They did this thing. Um, it, it's an automated sifting um, cat litter box, but it looks like a giant, like the, you know, where you put the balls in for the lottery. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> and, and it has <laughs> glowing cat ears on it. It's just like, what are we doing with this thing, you guys? It really looks like a cat scan. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, look at that. so meanwhile, you're all oh, in the ears blink, you guys. Oh, and it goes. So it, and it'll wait like seven minutes before it starts moving so it doesn't scare your cat. As if, like, I don't even know if my cat would go in there in the first place. No, like, the, we did, the, we, we had the thing one thing is, of, your, your cat is already scared. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not going in. Like, there. it wasn't even like we got like a kitty litter with like just it had, you know, it has the like little house that can go in. Yeah. Not. Just it didn't exist to him. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. no. Um, it's My so. house is one of those uh, big Rubbermaid tubs mm -hmm. with an entrance cut out of it and no lid because mm -hmm. she yeah she won't go in there with the lid on. Yeah, no, I. I, I same. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, same, same. Yeah. It was like little, little litter boxes don't have high sides high enough for her. <laughs> Life hack. Life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put some Christmas lights on it and boom, I got the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> saved y'all hundreds and thousands of dollars. Decorating kitty litter boxes. Uh, <laughs> Does it say how much this costs? Did it, did um, oh, I, I just closed it. Um, I don't think it did. I looked at one a couple weeks ago because we had a friend that got one. It's not nearly as large as that one. Okay. But it's kind of like a, it's almost like a teardrop shape and it kind of rotates like yeah, around <laughs> the back. Um, and they're, they're there in like the $300 uh, see. Nothing is listed here. It mm -hmm. looks like, yeah, no, and, it's, and I think it's due for like next year, or this end of this year, or something like that. So, yeah, eight years, and we're talking about kitty litter boxes. How about that? What? Hey. Where, where has technology hey. gone? Hey. How has, far is it taking us? Has poop? it been? Oh, I, I, did, I, I, I this, this made it into this part. This was going to be my awesome thing of the week if I didn't get the camera. I got an Xbox uh, 360 Connect, so I actually got to play some Connect Chilla. And man, that still holds up. 
Did you play? What did you play? I got uh, Connect Adventures with the Raft game and the and the kind of dodgeball brick break game, and it came with a bunch of demos. I downloaded the Star Wars Connect de- a demo. I want the Star Wars Connect game because it's a lot of fun. Uh, I have the what's the is it just dance? Yeah, well, there's I have the uh, dance, dance Central maybe. Yeah, I've done. Yeah, dance yeah. So there was that. We 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 got home on Wednesday. And uh, I'm like, oh, okay, I'm going to try this out because I, I had a power adapter that needed to come come in for because like, you got it from the Goodwill and it didn't come with it. And uh, and, and and I really like like I forgot how how good it was at sensing things, you know, for being like the lower res version. And of course, the new one's supposed to be better, but I've only used the new one for going live on Twitch, <laughs> to be honest. Mm-hmm. Um, so it was it was kind of cool. And so now I'm looking for, and I'm really excited that if you go to GameStop uh, just to kind of see what they have in stock, they're all like under $5. Yeah, because so, it never, it, a lot of people didn't catch for No, it didn't catch, and it was like a weird peripheral thing. So you can get like Connect games for fairly cheap. Um, I think even the units are going for like 30 or $40 now if you want to try to get one new. Um, and another beer is open. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it really holds up. Missy was having fun taking videos of me and sending it to my sister of me attempting to uh, raft or dance or whatever it was. I was uh, rocking to some Lady Gaga. Uh, so uh, definitely, I definitely recommend it if you still have a 360 uh, kind of hanging out there uh, to grab one of those. And, and just it's a fun, you know, at least a fun distraction for a little bit uh, for what it is. So, um, so I, I'm going to be just looking for 360. Remind me, because I'm my Xbox actually started working, mm-hmm. but I'll flip you. I think I have the old. I have the 360 Connect. Okay. Versus the one Connect. That's what I'm using. Oh, you're using, you're using. I got one oh, for the you three. Got the, you got I got the one three. for the 360 at home, okay. so I don't look goofy here in the studio in front of this window. <laughs> Playing Connect games, so because I. What are you doing for home internet? Uh, my phone. Okay. Yep. So it works out pretty well. I'm trying to figure out if I can Twitch on my phone via the iMac at home and play old games online. That's the new thing I'm I'm trying to solve. So, um, but yeah, kind of a nice uh, old school edition there. Also, um, if you. I, I literally, I, I put this in the note here. Um, I literally had to check it wasn't April 1st because I, I, I was looking for batteries or something on Amazon. And I saw the, the announcement on the front page for the Fire TV Cube. If you want a black obelisk on your in front of your television that, that you can talk to, this is it for $119. I think it was going for a little bit cheaper. It's on pre-order right now. Um, you can get a, uh, what, what, there's one that comes with a cloud cam for $200, but it has more of the, the echo features in it, but then it's also all the fire TV box features it, as well. I feel like it's like the Amazon fire stick, but has always on Alexa and a couple other, yeah, yeah. Uh, those features, but probably like a little higher end. Cause right. There's the box when they did too. Right. Mm-hmm. So, you know, it, it, it's kind of, I like the one, one show was talking about how, Hey, now you have one for a little bit of everywhere. Like this is the one that goes in your living room. And now, now you've put Alexa in more rooms, right? Mm-hmm. Um, it makes sense, you know, uh, to kind of uh, marry that together. Uh, and, and it really, I can't believe how many different form factors we have for echo now. You have like two of them with two different ones with screens. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You have three different pillars. We have the hockey puck, the mid one, and the, the the tall one. I mean, yeah, they they have gone a little crazy. They call it the first the first hands free video streaming player. I don't know. I wonder how well that works to go all voice for this. It does come with a control, like the the usual Amazon controller. Um, but then you you don't need that to to interact with it apparently, so um, that'll be, that's an interesting addition they have to the lineup there. Um, and uh, wow, guys, I think I'm out of things to talk about <laughs> this week. <laughs> um, yeah, this wasn't really an awesome thing. Steam Store uh, will accept anything that's not illegal or trolling because there was some controversy over some things that they were letting out there. So if you want to get your weird um, Japanese RPG games, you have a place to get that on the internet now. Uh, so <laughs> oh, thank goodness. So Katie, you're all set. I'm ready to go. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, well, like I said, it's been eight years of us doing this um, here with the, um, uh, the awesome cast here. 
it, it is it is kind of funny. We're talking about on gold that uh, we're still talking about Facebook security. Yeah. We're still talking yeah. about mm-hmm. uh, asking uh, Mike, uh, Mike how, how he's doing at the newspaper. My, my job hasn't been killed Your yet, so that's, <laughs> so that's good. You're still talking about beer. Yes, cause yes. You're still doing a video show on the internet, which I think you were still doing eight years ago. Eight years ago, I would not have been doing... I, that was before I actually started the show at the really? time. I was writing. I was writing about beer, and I had done a couple of video things, but they were just sort of standalone. I hadn't started the series yet. But there was, was Newsbreak happening yet? Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, that's what I was talking about. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah Newsbreak, so. Newsbreak was, um, uh, I, geez, that, that 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 had been going for a while. Mm-hmm. So, um, but yeah, you know, I'm I'm still employed, so that's that hasn't changed <laughs> in eight years. That's <laughs> still employed with a print publication. Uh-huh. Printers are still printing. Yeah, yeah. No, we we still are. I, it, I mean, it, that that's stuff's going to change. Um, I, and it's not as it's been announced publicly that um, we won't be publishing seven days a week by the end of the year. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, so that's that. That transition is happening, mm-hmm. and not the first paper to make uh, start making those kinds of changes. Oh no, too. no, that's um, uh, d- decent sized metro papers have been doing that for uh, making that those choices for five years, maybe more. Mm-hmm. Um, so this is this is not an unusual thing. Uh, this market holds on because it's an older population. Has always been my guess is kind of held on to the print product a little bit longer than some places have. Mm-hmm. So that's that's worked that's worked for in our favor, but. You know, right now the the job is transferring emphasis from that to all digital stuff, and that's actually going pretty well, um, in, in spite of some notable challenges that you guys are all aware of. Um, it's uh, that that's coming, so it's a good thing. It's good, good hanging on there, Chilla. What were you doing eight years ago? What was I doing eight years ago? Because I know you were you're the ones you were the mystery people. We didn't we didn't have an awesome cast, Chilla or Dutters yet. Ooh. Wait, what year I, is I was, this? I would have been. I would think I would have been through my first pod camp. Okay, I was probably watching from afar, mm-hmm. admiring from afar, <laughs> <laughs> wondering, from wondering what the hell is that that he's hanging behind him in his basement? Why is this encoded in real audio? Can, how can we can't see this guy? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It's really funny because I'm like, hey, you know what? Uh, let's look at Google Photos to see what I was doing. And <laughs> uh, yeah, we can do oh, that. That's man. true. No. Look at that. Look, isn't technology 2010, amazing. what was I doing? I, what was happening in our world? Oh, there's Dutters. The Dutters cookie. Was that De- happening December in 2010? December 21st, 2010. Wow. Yes. That might have just been a thing. Yes. Yeah. Yin's yeah. team was happening. It's weird. I, I, I don't know. So I pulled up my, my stuff for like June of 2010, and I have a picture of uh, the, the, the robot from, from Portal, um, something Ultimate Gamer, and like the pic- a picture of a forest, apparently. Uh, so I don't know what that's. Oh, that's actually a recent uh, thing. So apparently my stuff didn't back up. You're way better at backing up your pictures than I am, apparently. I- so. <laughs> Thank you, magic of Google. Mm-hmm. I have kitten photos because Lenny and Carl, that now reside at Ginger's house, mm-hmm. um, were babies. <laughs> <laughs> they are no longer babies. They are giant fatties. <laughs> That's awesome. And of course, uh, uh, Doug Durda here. He was he was talking about beer on a podcast way back then. <gasps> now he talks yes. about barbecue online. Doug Durda would know. That's right. <laughs> wait. You know what? Wait, wait, wait. No, I got some final pictures of the old barn. Was that the last year of the old barn? Yeah. The igloo. Yeah. Yep. I have, I, a, pic- wow. I have a picture of us doing shots on New that Year's was from Eve the final 2009. Game. Look at that. I was there. <laughs> at, Were you at, there? Uh, Hutches. I was, up, I was up in a press oh. row. I was important. <laughs> 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 I see. Shots at Hutches never ended well. <laughs> well, that was the night, it, was the, it was the night before the, the plunge. Oh. So we all went and jumped in the water the next day. Yep. Oh, boy. we were going back that far in time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. And it's so readily available too. Um, like between our, the Facebooks, like especially for us that were early adopters, you know, way back in like the Pod Camp One, two thousand six, and we have that kind of online footprint, right? That we can do that. You know, and it makes you kind of wish, and then also kind of dread if you went back further. What's well, funny because I think like the first Pod Camp I went to was like four, mm-hmm. but I think I was like checking in on Bright Kite. So. Oh <laughs> wow! I love Frank. 
So like a, like a lot of those services don't even exist. Or got folded in or just yeah. uh, apparently Google does it automatically. This is a thing that happened the other day was uh, uh, we were going over expenses and we were going over like, oh, hey, we need what were these to- these uh, tolls for on the turnpike? You know, it had the times and dates that we went through. And it's like, what were you doing? Nothing's on the calendar. And I'm oh, like, you can pull back up Google Maps. So I pulled up Google Maps and it shows you where Doug. you've been in Google Maps because it's tracking oh, like in the timeline. And and we found out like oh we went to we went to Cleveland for a wrestling show, so you know and and and, and it was two days because by the time we came back through it was definitely after midnight. Mm-hmm. So, um, so that's been super helpful. What's it's going like on? Show and tell. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! What is that? Is see, that Uncle that Crappy too? and uh, and Doug Durda? This, this that actually this predates the uh, Dawson Cast. This is a. Well, no, that, no, this is 10 years ago. Ten, mm-hmm. Exactly. 2008. Okay. There, there we are. Look at that. Yeah. Pre-teaspoon. Pre-teaspoon. <laughs> Here's just a glimmer in your father's eye. <laughs> awesome. Uh, Uncle Crappy, where can people find what's going on with you? Uh, you can subscribe to the PG feed because that's me almost every single day. Um, <laughs> you can uh, check out... Um, post-gazette.com slash beer me that's me every other week um and and uh and i'm i'm, I'm here every every 10 years or so <laughs> <laughs> exactly <laughs> we just dust you off bring you in every june you know we, uh, and, then, and then every year is just like oh geez e3 just happened didn't it yeah it did, it did. <laughs> seriously man congratulations this is really cool thank you uh, it, it is a it's a it's been a pleasure i've, I've been on more than twice actually so oh good so <laughs> <laughs> John Chichilla, add Chilla on the Twitter. ChillaTech.net. Hit him up. John Chichilla on the Facebook. I'm trying to go through my own th- stuff. Yeah. Uh, ask him how iOS 12 is before we iOS go. 12, yeah. Mac OS 11, 10.14. Uh, what are they? Hi, no. What are they? Mojave? Mojave, Mojave, the desert. Mojave, the desert. I, I get dark themes and I get a background that changes with the, the time of day Ooh, outside. Nice. Hot updates. Yes. Uh, and if you're and if you're running it, let me know because I want to FaceTime and <laughs> with the emoji faces. With, with my emoji. <laughs> Katie Dudas at K Dudders on the Twitter. Scarehouse, uh, Scarehouse live every Friday. Yes. Yes. At noon. Sometime noon. At noon. At noon. I was following the Instagram feed and seeing the scary babies from the Pride Fest. Uh, yes, I had my parade. scary baby at the parade. <laughs> Invite me to a parade. I'll bring a scary baby. <laughs> Oversized man <laughs> baby. <laughs> Anything else coming up that you want to throw out there? I feel like there are is, but I just can't think of anything. <laughs> I was laughing because I was looking at my pictures from 2010 and um, the arena, the new arena just opened. Well, now PPG paints, whatever arena. Uh, I was very excited about the TVs in the bathrooms because <laughs> there's a couple of those photos in there. I was like, look, there's a TV. There's your technology. There's a TV in the bathroom. Shout out to our friends in the background, of course, Bold Pittsburgh and Bold Sports. Check out the, the website and the podcast for both of those. Uh, and, of course, Doug Durda is uh, Yin's Love Barbecue. I've been get, sending him my reports of the mall barbecue I keep finding on my travels. Those are great pictures. You like those? I do. Hey, and uh, Mission Barbecue is going to be opening. Mission Barbecue. Mm-hmm. I was excited to find them in Maryland and then find out they're going to open here two months later. 25th <laughs> so. of June, I believe. Ooh. We're going to host like something up. barbecue places opening with Love it. When are we going to get our mall barbecue? Because that's a that's an interesting. Well, there's plenty of room at Century. There you go. <laughs> By the way, oh oh, follow up. Did that ju- nerf thing ever? Happen? I just I just saw this today. Somebody was commenting I, I in that. the feed. They said the police have been alerted to what we're trying to do. Yeah. We're not going to be allowed. We're looking at other options. Because it took this long yeah. for the police to catch up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Well, you know. Oh, boy. Um, but anyways, thank you, everybody. Thank you for a great eight years. Thank you again to Brian Crawford for uh, featuring us uh, on the show here and uh, featuring us monthly on the, over there and on the River's Edge for so long and everybody that does listen. I know, um, you know, we don't have, like, huge, huge numbers on this show, but I know the important people listen uh, out there at, in the Pittsburgh technology community because you guys say hi to me at, uh, at, at, at events across the city, uh, and I really do appreciate that. Thank you, everybody. Thank you to... Our, all of our awesome guests that have been with us over the eight years, a lot of them here in the studio. Uh, thank you. You've been our awesome audience. Have an awesome week.
This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.